Welcome to Go Deeper, Wyndham Art Gallery's podcast channel, part of our Go Deeper program that provides an in-depth look at each of our exhibitions. Today you are listening to an abridged recording of an interview between curator Caroline Esbenshade and artist Bronte Stoles about his work, Turtles All the Way Down, featured in this year's Wyndham Art Prize. This work's medium is very unique, a piece of stretched velvet with the forms rendered in the plush of the velvet, not paint. We hope you enjoy learning more about this work and that you'll tune in for future interviews with some of our other Wyndham Art Prize 2020 finalists. My name is Bronte Stoles and I currently reside in Nam or Melbourne and I am a visual artist. Can you tell us about your piece that's in the Wyndham Art Prize? The piece that was selected for the prize is called Turtles All the Way Down and it sort of came about from reading a text by Timothy Morton called Hyperobjects, uh, Philosophy and Ecology After the End of the World. The concept of the hyperobject in this text really kind of caught my attention, which is objects that are so large in their distribution that they transcend commonly conceived of notions of space and time. Examples of climate change or a race or a nation. With the work, I was trying to draw upon notions of these theories um, as like a vessel to explore the construction of meaning and meaning making and also its obsolescence. So the work consists of an assemblage, which on the left-hand side, you can see the earth, and it is accompanied by a suite of babushka dolls on the the right in descending order from, um, from the left to the right. You've touched on how the piece fits into your practice based on the choice of medium. More broadly speaking, would you say that this work is reflective of what you do, or is this a new narrative that you've been exploring? I feel like my practice underwent a relatively organic transition. When I was making work in this fabric, I was drawing more inspiration from fashion. I was initially making work that was sort of responding to the mythic qualities of luxury fashion and how that can relate to unconscious drives of the psyche. On another level, I think a lot of what I deal with has a relationship to impermanence and meaning making. You've spoken a little bit about your honors in being at VCA. Would you like to elaborate on how long you've been a practicing artist? I guess I would say that I started to take it quite seriously around 2016 when I began studying art within an institution, but had been exhibiting prior to that. had my first solo show in about 2014 when I was living in Italy with a painter. They afforded me the opportunity of using their studio as a place to try out some new ideas. After that show, I realized that it was something that I could do and it didn't seem anywhere near as scary as it did before then. Initially, my practice revolved more around engaging with the concept of luxury and its endorsement as a buffer against ruminating over mortality salience or death anxiety. I guess that's kind of how I got to the fashion stuff. And then when I was looking into that further, when I was researching in my honours year, I started to see that luxury endeavours or or fashion was merely sort of like a surface level aspect of that. And I kind of started feeling that it was difficult to be engaging or critiquing that from a space where I was very much witnessing myself as succumbing to those kinds of defenses. And then that allowed me to consider institutions of meaning and meaning making more broadly. And I think from that realization, that's where I kind of feel like this work sits in terms of my practice. And kind of tied to that, what prompted you to pursue art? I think I was always naturally drawn to it just intuitively, but it was quite difficult for me because I was living in Europe at the time with a painter, but not painting myself. And I was working as a furniture designer. And it was a strange experience for me because in some ways I was like living a dream of mine by being in Europe and and working after having previously studied a degree in industrial design, but was simultaneously feeling quite unfulfilled. And I guess just through accepting that experience, I guess I kind of reignited my core desire to pursue art as a career. Well, thank you very much for your time this evening, Bronte, and congratulations again on being a finalist in the Windermark Prize 2020.